Question 5A Part 1. Complete the electronic configurations of the copper positive and the copper 2 positive ion. So uh, let's start from the copper electronic configuration. So it's argon 3D10 for S1. Uh, if it's formed copper positive, uh, so the 4S electrons need to remove. So it's gone. Um, so it will be uh, 3D10. After that, uh, another electrons uh, will remove from the 3D10, so it becomes uh, 3D9. So the electronic configurations for this uh, copper positive and two positive, uh, so they are argon 3D10 and argon uh, 3D9. Part 2. Explain why transition elements have a, a variable oxidation state. Okay, why they can form uh, many oxidation states? Uh, only one reason because the 4S and 3D, they are quite close. So for example, like the copper. So the after the first electrons removed from the copper positive, then uh, very fast it will form this copper too. Why? Because the 4S and 3D is quite close. Once these electrons remove, then, then next will be the electrons in the 3D. Uh, so and the energy level is actually quite similar. Uh, so means the energies that needed to remove the electrons here is not really uh, that uh, uh, different uh, from this uh, for us. Okay. That's why it can easily form a few oxidation states. Uh, similar energy of the 3D and 4S subshell. Okay, part B. Aqueous copper 2 sulfate uh, is contains the hexa aqua copper 2 complex ion. A few drops of uh, ammonia added to the copper 2 sulfate solution uh, describe any observation. Uh, so first, the ammonia solution, okay, actually in there, uh, there is um, the hydroxide. Because ammonia uh, react with water, will form ammonium and hydroxide. The hydroxide in ammonia solution for the first few drops, uh, it will form the precipitate uh, with the, this uh, copper, um, copper ion. So you, you will see the pale blue precipitate, uh, which formed by the this uh, this hydroxide with the this copper ion. Okay, write the equations for the reaction that take place. Uh, so it started from the copper two uh, complex ion, so the hexa aqua copper two, and this one is actually act as an acid because the two H two O ligand in the uh, in this complex ion it will donate protons to the hydroxide and eventually uh, it will form this uh, precipitate the copper hydroxide uh, of course together with the four water ligand and uh, the hydroxide uh, will form the h2o after it gains the proton so this is equations that you must give uh, for the precipitation means the formations of this pale blue precipitate Part C1, an excess of ammonia is added to this copper 2 uh, sulfate. Uh, so, describe any uh, further observation. Uh, now, it will not really form the precipitate. It will just form deep blue solution because the ammonia in excess. The first few drops, yes, you see the pure blue precipitate. But when it's in excess, then it will form another complex ion. Okay, so, uh, let's start from the, this uh, hexa aqua copper 2. Uh, ion uh, with the ammonia ligand now four ammonia will uh, exchange with the four h2o in this uh, hexa aqua copper 2 ion so eventually it will form this uh, the new complex ion so uh, with uh, four ammonia and this uh, two h2o and the four h2o has been exchanged right by this uh, four ammonia uh, so this is the equation and uh, part three, state the names uh, for the type of the reaction take place. Uh, this one is a ligand exchange because the, the ammonia ligand exchange with the, this uh, H2O. Okay, part D, copper metal can uh, be oxidized by the acidified chemino 4. Uh, these are the two half equation. Uh, the electro potential is given uh, for the copper 2 and copper is a uh, 0 0.34 uh, the permanganate 7 ion and the manganese 2 is uh, 1.52 volt okay part 1 for the 
um, this uh, permanganate ion and the manganese 2 electrode uh, so or the manganese e electrode uh, is constructed using 0 0.002 mol per dm cube uh, permanganate uh, 7 ion and uh, 1 mol per dm cube of the uh, manganese 2 ion and uh, 1 mol per dm cube of uh, the, this acid temperature is 298 Kelvin I use Nernst equation to show the E value for this uh, manganese half cell. Uh, so it's uh, 1.49. So you just need to prove that uh, or show that how to get this 1.49. Okay, so first uh, the Nernst equation for the this electrode. Uh, so is this one. Uh, the this is a potential uh, with the with the concentration uh, equal to the E naught means the the standard potential electro potential plus 0 0.059 over z z is the electrons numbers that involved uh, log times log oxidized form over reduced form okay both concentration uh, so now the oxidized form for this uh, half cell is what uh, is this one the manganese uh, 7 ion and uh, the reduced form is a manganese 2 ion so you just need to substitute that concentration. Uh, the manganese uh, 7 ion is uh, 0 0.002 as mentioned just now. And this is a standard concentration. And the Z is 5 because here is 5 electron. So uh, substitute the uh, standard uh, electro potential. Okay, everything done, then you, sh you should get positive uh, 1.49 volt. Okay, part 2. An electrochemical cell is constructed using the uh, standard copper 2 and copper electrode and uh, this uh, manganese uh, electrode uh, described in the part D. Then we need to um, compare the potential. The one that calculated the manganese is positive 1.49 and the copper 2 and copper half cell is just positive uh, 0 0.34 means this one is more likely to oxidize to form from copper to form copper to release electron and the manganese half cell is going to gain the electrons that released so it means uh, this one it will be the okay because it's released electron so it's undergo oxidation so this one is must be added added and this must be cathode the cathode is the manganese half cell you just use the cathode the one that just calculated uh, 1.49 minus uh, 0 0.34 so you should get uh, 1.15 for the E cell value part 3 write an equation for the reaction take place in the electrochemical cell described in this part D2 uh, then you need to um, reverse the equation uh, the copper half cell so you need to reverse this one to make sure the copper oxidized to form copper 2 positive and uh, 2 electron release so it means something like this and uh, the manganese half cell you just let it stay right because uh, in order to combine the two half equation we must make sure electrons number same so the copper half cell need to times five all times five and uh, the manganese half cell need to times two for all so therefore we can uh, eliminate the electron and we just combined uh, the reactants okay left to left and the products right to right so eventually you get uh, this overall equation right so from these uh, reactants and products okay part four completes the sentence for the electrochemical cell described in the d2 d2 is this one the anode and cathode huh? so this is anode this is cathode now uh, the copper two and uh, uh, copper electrode is negative electrode yes uh, so negative electrode is the one that undergo oxidation release electron because the copper half cell uh, is release electron uh, so it must be the anode and it must be negative terminal because uh, it's produced electron uh, is negative electrode uh, so the place that electrons are produced so it's a negative electrode which the copper now is undergo oxidation release electron so you must put this copper two uh, and the copper electrode and the electrons flow from the these are uh, copper two and copper electrode to
to the manganese electrode. Uh, so from this uh, this uh, half cell, they undergo oxidation to donate electrons to the half cell. They undergo reduction. Cathode, cathode. This is the cathode, and this is the anode, the copper two and copper uh, electrode. Okay, part E. A solution containing uh, this uh, hexa aqua copper two is electrolyzed for five hours uh, using a constant electric current. Uh, 0 0.764 gram of copper is formed at the cathode. No other reduction reaction take place. Calculates the electric current in ampere. Gives your answer in 3SF. Uh, then, of course, we need to start from the mass. Try to find the mole of copper that deposited. Uh, so, it's um, 0 0.764 over the molar mass. Okay, so, we get 0 0.0120. 0, 0.03 mole. Then, uh, because uh, from here, uh, in order to deposit the copper, it needs the two moles of electron. So the moles of electrons must be double. So uh, this one times two, you get 0 0.02406. Uh, then with these numbers of electrons, then we can get the charge that carried by this electron. So we just use the this uh, the mole times the Faraday constant. So Faraday constant is charge per mole of electron. And now we have 0 0.02406 mole of electron. So eventually you get 2322 two, two, uh, column. So this is a charge that carried by the uh, electrons. Then you just use Q equal to IT. The Q already calculated 2322 two, equal to the I in ampere times the time. Uh, it's five hours. You need to convert to second. Five times 60 times 60. Right. So you should get A is 0 0.129 ampere. Okay, that's all. Thank you.